Hashtag bunker bitch, y'all. Hashtag up. hashtag pretzel man. And that's the end. <laughs> Uh, you gonna be all right? Too soon. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the NDP. That's the Neo Digital Podcast. I'm your homie Jolly, also known as Jolly Dangerous. You know, I got another name too, but you guys will eventually find it. And I'm here with my cohort, Denanu. What's going on, fellas? Yeah, I you told just don't want to. Guys... You just don't want to tell them your name because that's what the ladies call you. You know, that's that, that's private. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna talk about that all right so um i said that in the last video that i was going to bring you guys something more uplifting funny even it's not gonna be either of those things but maybe it will so while i was deep in that rabbit hole haha see pun intended with the for the <laughs> ladies oh i'm sorry i cringed a little bit when i said that um i found a hashtag called bunker bitch hashtag bunker bitch and i was like what is hashtag bunker bitch let me look what the, let me look that up and then I, I found a bunch of things and we'll get into it but this is what it's related to so trump president trump was taken into an underground bunker at the white house i think this was yesterday or early like afternoon yesterday okay. or two days ago and the reason why he the reason why he was taken underground into a bunker was because there was a peaceful protest outside of the White House. And you can see it now playing in the background. Peaceful protesting. No looting, no destroying of property, no spraying or any of that kind of stuff. Peaceful protest. Now, eventually, something did break out where they burned a guard tower. I don't know if it was actually like during this time or it was like either before or after, but if it was before, it wouldn't be a peaceful protest. I think it was sometime after when they started doing the tear gas thing. Oh, speaking of which, they threw tear gas and, and started like mobbing the protesters, even though it was peaceful. Now, when Trump was taken into the bunker, he was taken there for about an hour and that's it. And then he, he went back up. So when I saw this, and I think you can go to the uh, to the next tab now. Well, oh, the, that one. There you go. Okay. Yes. So in this video, uh, after we get to the ad, <laughs> my God, man. I mean, I guess at least the ad is about Corona. I guess, you know. Yo. Oh, by the way, that's still a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that didn't go anywhere. Nope. Okay. So here it is. Here, gas fired at protesters near the White House. Now this is CNN. I don't really believe in any kind of news outlet because every news outlet has their own agenda that they push. But I try to look at what the video is showing me. What the video shows are peaceful protesters getting maced. Either getting maced or they're getting uh, hit with tear gas. And you can see like in the video, there's people trying to wash the stuff out of their eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, you mean to tell me in a, in a country that's supposed to be you can protest, you can peacefully protest without disturbing the peace. You can speak your mind, freedom of speech, all that other stuff. You literally start shooting. Look at this, man. They're chasing people. You literally start shooting tear gas at peaceful protesters, your citizens in front of the White House. Probably probably the, the first place where freedom and justice and peaceful protesting is supposed to take place is supposed to be allowed to take place. Mm -hmm. The representation of all of America, you do this to your people. That, that's how you do it. Okay. Fucking embarrassment. Yeah. To your own people. Mm -hmm. And then you go hide in a fucking bunker for an hour. The fuck you doing in there for an hour? Probably masturbating to all the bullshit that he sees outside, just like getting off to like how how much these left wing conspiracists and fucking fake news is like getting the gas right now. Now, what he's probably thinking about is like, how can I, what can I say on Twitter to, to, to spin this in my favor? Uh, you know, I don't know if he's that smart enough. That's, that is, that's disgusting. Look, look at how many people are out there, I was, man. I was, Not, just a, 
I was just about to say that. I'm glad a lot of people turned out. Not doing anything. They're standing there. Yeah. And you shoot tear gas at them for standing and holding up signs in front of your house. Man, fuck out of here, man. All yeah, right, you know so what that sounds like? That sounds like uh, somebody in the government, I don't know if it was Trump or somebody else, somebody was like, look, push them back. Yep. Because, because yeah, they're not doing anything. The cops could have just stood there and just let let them do their thing. But somebody was like, you know what? Push that crowd back. We can't have them that close. Also, that's the National Guard out there. That's oh, damn. The so they already... And the National Guard. Yeah. Okay, so they already released the National Guard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They released it in front of the White House first. So, boom. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yep. So when I saw that, I started looking up hashtag bunker bitch. What is this about? Okay, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Great name. I would I would completely understand that. So now if you if you look up hashtag bunker bitch, you will see just a bunch of different things that that uh the president is talking about and doing and and mo- now his constituents, I don't really see how how many of them are left believing in him after mm-hmm. he went into a bunker. Yeah. He's, he's not standing behind his resolve. And it, it, should, it shows your weakness, essentially. Mm-hmm. And if then he, he had, goes... If he had any balls, he would have went out there on the White House lawn and started giving a speech about how we shouldn't be doing this or, you know, try to make at least to appease the crowd some kind of way. But no. Man, dog. Okay, so you see that now a little lightheartedness because it's funny, okay. but it's actually true. This is how I feel about him. But this guy can say it way better than I can. So much fucking shit going on, and Dick Stain Donald Trump is tweeting fake news about a report about him cowering in a bunker. Of course, you were cowering in a bunker, bitch. You're a draft dodger. Your city's on fire. The country is on fire. There is nothing fake about this shit. You have no understanding. And tomorrow you're going to do what? You're going to hush reporters. 40 million people out of work. Pandemic for three months. You're talking about fake news. Republicans. Yo, don't you have any respect for yourself? I don't give a fuck about politics. Republicans. Don't you have any respect for yourself? Can't you? Don't you want to do better for yourselves? Republicans, remove this motherfucker, man. Aren't you embarrassed? You're scared of this fucking dude? Fucking, every city's under fucking siege. This bitch is talking about fake news. Address the people. You can't address the people, Dick Stain, because you have nothing to say. You have no credence, even with your own followers. No one's fucking listening to you. Your fucking bum-ass daughter is tweeting Bible verses. Your bum-ass wife tweeting out shit. Nobody's listening to you, motherfuckers. Remove this motherfucker, Republicans. Have some fucking self-respect and some pride. You're lifelong politicians, and this is what you have to show for yourself? A motherfucker talking about fake news? When Washington, D.C., all the way to Los Angeles, is burning... Remove this bitch. He's a fucking clown, a cowering clown in a bunker. Of course he's in a fucking bunker. Motherfucker's a draft dodging con man pimp. <laughs> you know what? That gets that that gets yeah. my little heart icon. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can't do it. But yeah, I'm gonna log in. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna happen. Oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was like yeah. you, your bum ass wife. Bum ass boy. Yeah. Straight up, man. Fucking, fucking hearted that shit. Retweeted it. Mm-hmm. Saved it to my bookmarks. I'm like, I love that shit, man. And, and you know, when he mentioned the Bible verses thing, I think, like, that's that's what hit me. It's like, the same motherfuckers that, that don't, that never walk that walk mm-hmm. are the first ones that want to tell other people about it. Yep. And, you know, it's like, I... I'm I'm that like I'm Christian, you know, like non-denomination Christian, you know what I mean? And I know I don't walk that walk the way that I should. But you you gonna sit here, you gonna 
tweet Bible verses like that's actually helping behind your castle wall tweeting yeah. Bible verses. Yeah, he said that, don't don't use that. Yeah, he said the same shit I said. It's like you should come out there and address the fucking people. That's what a leader, sh- you know, should do. You want to calm down the situation. You want to de-escalate. Assure people mm-hmm. that things is going to be okay. We're going to try to, you know, we you know, we're not going to, you know, pro- you know, don't promise people anything. He can't come out there and be like things are going to change and by next year. Like he can't promise shit, but even if he just came out there and been like, well, well, things aren't going to change overnight, but I promise you, we're going to look into it. We're going to see what we can do. You know, just even if it's that BS line, do something to try to calm the situation. Trump is like, oh, I don't got, I don't got to do shit. <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck? Scroll down. Okay. Scroll down. Scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Yo, if you're listening to this like like on another source that doesn't have video, I'm sorry. But we just posted a picture and it's it's Donald Trump like, powering under some blankets saying are all the bad people gone yet? It's it's so fucking funny. All right. So this happened that that came out on the thirty first. So it's now the second mm-hmm. June second. Five hours ago, let me close that. Five hours ago, uh, Donald Trump. (laughs) Okay, if you go back to hashtag bunker bitch. Okay. He actually addressed the American people. Okay. This is going to be the first time I hear hear this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to follow along with you. Okay. Uh, You have to scroll down, though. You'll see him in front of like an American flag. Go ahead, go. My first and highest duty as president is to defend our great country and the American people. I swore an oath to uphold the laws of our nation, and that is exactly what I will do. All Americans were rightly sickened and revolted by the brutal death of George Floyd. My administration is fully committed that for George and his family, justice will be served. He will not have died in vain. But we cannot allow the righteous cries and peaceful protesters to be drowned out by an angry mob. The biggest victims of the rioting are peace-loving citizens in our poorest communities. And as their president, I will fight to keep them safe. I will fight to protect you. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. A number of state and local governments have failed to take necessary action to safeguard their residents. Innocent people have been savagely beaten, like the young man in Dallas, Texas, who was left dying on the street, or the woman in upstate New York, viciously attacked by dangerous thugs. Small business owners have seen their dreams utterly destroyed. New York's finest have been hit in the face with bricks. Brave nurses who have battled the virus are afraid to leave their homes. A police precinct has been overrun here in the nation's capital. The Lincoln Memorial and the World War II Memorial have been vandalized. One of our most historic churches was set ablaze. A federal officer in California, an African-American enforcement hero, was shot and killed. These are not acts of peaceful protest. These are acts of domestic terror, the destruction of innocent life, and the spilling of innocent blood is an offense to humanity and a crime against God. America needs creation, not destruction. Cooperation, not contempt. Security, not anarchy. Healing, not hatred. Justice, not chaos. This is our mission. 
And we will succeed 100 percent. We will succeed. Our country always wins. That is why I am taking immediate presidential action to stop the violence and restore security and safety in America. I am mobilizing all available federal resources, civilian and military, to stop the rioting and looting, to end the destruction and arson, and to protect the rights of law-abiding Americans, including your Second Amendment rights. Therefore, the following measures are going into effect immediately. First, we are ending the riots and lawlessness that has spread throughout our country. We will end it now. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I am also taking swift and decisive action to protect our great capital, Washington, D.C. What happened in this city last night was a total disgrace. As we speak, I am dispatching thousands and thousands of heavily armed soldiers, military personnel, and law enforcement officers to stop the rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults, and the wanton destruction of property. We are putting everybody on warning. Our 7 o'clock curfew will be strictly enforced. Those who threaten innocent life and property will be arrested, detained, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I want the organizers of this terror to be on notice that you will face severe criminal penalties and lengthy sentences in jail. This includes Antifa and others who are leading instigators of this violence. One law and order, and that is what it is. One law. We have one beautiful law. And once that is restored and fully restored, we will help you, we will help your business, and we will help your family. America is founded upon the rule of law. It is the foundation of our prosperity, our freedom, and our very way of life. But where there is no law, there is no opportunity. Where there is no justice, there is no liberty. Where there is no safety, there is no future. We must never give in to anger or hatred. If malice or violence reigns, then none of us is free. I take these actions today with firm resolve and with a true and passionate love for our country. By far, our greatest days lie ahead. Thank you very much. And now I'm going to pay my respects to a very, very special place. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, he lost me about halfway through. He's going to pay his respects to a very, very special place. The fucking bunker. That's what it is. <laughs> the fuck out of here. So it went from, he went from seemingly sounding like he's going to address everyone. Yeah. And and speak on the unrest, to literally turning it again into a fucking agenda about a, a, Antifa mm -hmm. and thugs. That's that's what this fucker's saying, really. Yeah, that's where that's where he lost me when he got away from the talking about the what we need to do to calm things down to oh this is what we're gonna do. And then talking about the military and stuff like that. That's not, that's, yeah. that's what you don't want to say right now. Like it's, it's, you it's, really... it's one thing to make a stand. I get it to a show of force essentially. Cause that you need, mm -hmm. but that's like, you, you don't threaten cities and saying, Oh, if you don't fix it, we're going to fix it for you. Cause that's like yeah. one step away from saying, Oh, you, we might as well enact martial law in the city. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm not even sure, like, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not, I've never been in the military, don't know really nothing about it, but isn't there a rule that says you can't use American, like military troops in America? That's what's why we have the National Guard. I think that's I want to say, I think that's a rule or something. So what he just said, I mean, if that's the case, then yeah, the, the only thing he can deploy is the National Guard. Unless something really gets bad where, <laughs> you know, they lose, where states lose the, you know, the, the government of the states. And then, yeah, I would assume they would send in the military, right? Is to limit, okay, a posse committus, uh, tomatis act is to limit the powers of the federal government and using federal military mm -hmm. personnel to enforce domestic policies within the United States. Yeah, so it's basically using the military to enforce yeah. <clears throat> like local laws, and that's 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 excessive. Yeah. It is passed by an, an amendment to an army uh, apparition bill followed the end of the reconstitution and was updated in 1956 and 1981. Yeah, that's that's why he's only using the National Guard. But here's the problem with that, though. See, man, fucking, I swear, it's like all the presidents find a fucking like a way around something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you saying that the National Guard. OK, United States Coast Guard under the Department of Homeland Security and United States Space Force under the Department of Air Force are not covered. Space so the so the I know, I know, I know it all. So I mean, the act does not prevent the Army National Guard or the Air National Guard under the state authority from the act and the law enforcement. Nor does it uh, uh, stop the uh, Space Force, which is fucking retarded, and the United States Coast Guard. Yeah. So he can he can literally deploy. Yeah. It's, each it's... and each one of those branches is a part of every single military. They just found a fucking loophole. No, no, but what I'm saying is like the actual military, like those are considered defense agencies, essentially, like Coast Guard, National I'm, Guard. I'm, I mean, like the actual military or the, the Army or the Navy, yeah. the Marines, you know, they can't deploy or they can't do operations no, on American soil. They can't. But what I'm saying is that's the loophole because these are tied to those. But they're yeah. not officially like the military. So if you're saying the Army, it says Army National Guard. Mm. That's why that's why they're dressed in those kind of fatigues. That's yeah, why they have I the army you. gear. It's it's literally just a sub branch. It's like it's like taking it's like taking Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's like a little bit different. No, it's like taking um, ROTC and army. You yeah, know, like ROTC we, really isn't a part of the army, but it can be seen as that. Yeah, but there's a big difference between the two, though. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like if if the army was allowed to roll in, it'd have been just like that that movie clip I sent you a few days ago. So that's that's yeah. that's why they have that rule because if, because otherwise if they don't have it, the government could come out with a list of rules and laws and states and people can be like, oh, we don't have to do that, fuck you, and then they're gonna roll in the yeah. army and start shooting people. So they don't want to do that. Well, see, here's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Like, even though it's not necessarily the same thing, because like the army is worse. The problem is, yeah, you still have trained people who are like trained under those same military practices they just yeah. don't have the same conditioning mm -hmm. as the main forces and you still got those people out here shooting and killing people we yeah. talked about that last video mm -hmm. it's like so at this point does it really fucking matter yeah, you're because right. yeah you bring out the army yeah they'll just kill more people so it's not gonna stop it's just gonna get worse yeah and I just, I just hate that when I'm reading this, and I never even knew this. I, mean, I hate that, like, all the stuff that the Founding Fathers were, like, trying to go for mm -hmm. has all these loopholes around it. Literally, mm -hmm. I remember the Founding Fathers, they had put something in the Constitution, I forgot what it was, but, like, the banks are not supposed to take over. And what yeah. happened? The banks took over mm -hmm. because of a fucking loophole. Well, it's not and that now it's you got a, this kind of shit. It's not that it's, like, a loophole specifically, but that's the problem when you have people in government like you get corrupt politicians that get a lot of money to do something <clears throat> excuse me and let's mm -hmm. say if there's a law that says they can't do something they'll ban it veto it or change it up you know uh, what do they call it write an addendum or something yeah. that, that that lets them do whatever they want to do so regardless of if something's a law or not it doesn't matter because they can always change it whenever they fucking want you that's know. what I mean. Well, that's why I call it. A, that's why I call it a loophole. Yeah. So they're not really changing it, but if they stated that these are active military forces, yeah, 
and then they create these subcategories you know that are a part of them they're not necessarily active military forces but you can train them just the like thing. that and you can give orders yeah. to them to do the same thing except they, they won't exactly be and the only exactly and the only difference is is that like national guard are only called upon when they are needed not necessarily that's their career yeah you know so like that's what makes it like that's one of the things that makes it like okay a whole separate thing because you are part-time warriors mm -hmm. and these are full-time warriors yeah but still you know warriors you're you're just but still warriors all the same so so this asshat is talking all this shit like there was there was a part he said leaders of this terror it was a part that said no justice no liberty literally that's what people are screaming for right now yeah it's justice but he wants to throw throw that around like it like that's what he wants it's not and i had looked up two things he had mentioned two instances of a person of a male getting beat down in dallas mm -hmm. and a female getting beat down in new york uh don't tell me those two incidents didn't happen <laughs> so they happen okay they happen but the way it, the, the only thing that happened was the one in new york i can see okay that's wrong it's funny though how he takes one instance and and just justifies that saying oh this whole thing is a a, a is a masquerade of just violence and thuggerism mm -hmm. thuggerism that's a new <laughs> word now fuck it <laughs> might as well be it's, it, it sounds yeah. good <laughs> there you go yeah it's, it sounds good so it's right so it's it's thuggerism and like terror and violence so in the video i saw it let me see if i can find it for you but in the video he they show the this uh group of guys it was like maybe four or five of them mm -hmm. uh they were trying to break into or not break in but they were trying to destroy this building or this uh business and I guess the, the owner of the business was this uh, seemingly older lady. She was trying to protect it. Well, when I say trying to protect it, she was just standing there. And they were hitting, like this one guy, he had a two by four. He was hitting around her, but he wasn't hitting her. And then they start to walk off and it looked like she said something. And then that's when he turned around and he, he cold clocks her. With a two by four? No, with his hand. Well, even still, you get the lady cold cocking up. No, man, I strength, know. Yeah, now, man, I'm, don't do that. I'm not saying that this is good at all, and we, we, I may have to blur this out oh, because it's, it's, that bad? it's pretty violent. It, it ain't that bad, but it's it's violent. Okay, cool. you can pull it up. I may decide just to like to to blur it out and um and just describe what's happening because I'm not. Okay. I want people to see this video and not and not get it taken down. Go ahead. And during the president's address tonight, he mentioned a woman that was vicious. All right. So in the video, it looks like uh, some branch of Fox News or some shit talking. A group of men responsible for this attack. It happened yeah. outside the Rochester Fire yeah. Equipment Company. On yeah. Monroe it's it's pretty intense. Afternoon. Oh, fuck. It is oh, all on camera. So so this is this one I'm talking about. So like you see, he says he's trying to break man, the stuff. The yeah. The man and, and, and like he he was about to hit her but he didn't yeah and and this is them walking away right around the country she turns and, and says something Innocent and people boom people have been savagely beaten like the young man in dallas texas yeah, who was left dying on the street yeah or the woman in upstate not New saying York. it's right no, not no. saying it's right at all no, no, it ain't right. like that's that's not right at all um whatever she said though yeah turned like that that made them angry I mean, I understand emotions are running high, but that's that's the point where you have to be as careful as you can be with whatever you say right now. Yeah. Because anything would have set them off. Like as mad as they were trying to get into that place, anything that you say would have set them off. And she probably ended up saying the wrong thing because they walked away yeah. until she turned towards them and she opened her mouth. We can't hear what she said, but yeah, yeah they went back and they they beat her. So, yeah, she was yeah, she was a skinny white lady. I'd have, like like if I was there, I'd have got beat down too because I'd have stopped that or tried to. Yeah, yeah, same, same. I mean, at that point, I don't care how bad my rage is. It's like no, 
I still have that innate urge to like not yeah. hit women. Yeah, that's there's no 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 excuse for what he did. So yeah, the president took that that one instance that happened yesterday, took that one instance out of this whole thing mm. and said that. But he never mentioned anybody else, any of the other the the black people that got shot. I was surprised he mentioned did, George Floyd. It, honestly, <laughs> I I was too. I was too. I thought I thought he wasn't gonna go there, but he did. I thought it was gonna be. It's just like about that was the, the attention <laughs> grabber. Yeah. Exactly. Now, let's go into the other one. Okay. D- please do not show this. Okay. So this is what happened. Okay. He talks about a man, a store owner that was violently beaten in Dallas. This is why he was violently beaten. Okay, you got it up. Yeah. Cool. He was beaten for defending his business, right? And you would say, oh, that's still pretty bad. Yeah. He defended it with a machete. Okay. He was chasing people with machetes. That's where he was wrong. I mean, that's that's where he was wrong. Yeah. He's not at his like in the in the clip. He's not at his store. Yeah, I see that. He's clip, chasing he's somebody running, down, down the street. street. Yeah. yeah. So at that point, you're chasing somebody that's with assault. a machete. What a deadly weapon. That's assault. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's usually how the law works. If you get into a fist fight, cool, both of you going to jail. Yeah. But as soon as somebody turn pulls out a knife, mm-hmm. they just escalated it. Yeah. To 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 assault with a deadly weapon. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't care how important that stuff is to you. If you pull out a machete and you're threatening human life, human life always takes over for the value of something if you don't stand your ground. Well, that if he's well, well, to me, that would depend. Well, like, if he's if he's in front of his store, yeah, you have the right to defend your livelihood. And your but that's life. what I mean. But the you, moment you're standing yeah, your ground, yeah, as soon as he left, yeah, he, he was one hundred percent wrong. Yeah. Just like if supposedly, if if you are in uh, your home, you can shoot a robber. If mm-hmm. you're in your front lawn, you can shoot a robber. If you're in your car, you can shoot somebody that's trying to rob you because you are standing your ground. Mm-hmm. You're you can't move away. You can't run. Wasn't that the whole but Trayvon as, Martin thing? Is that why Zimmerman got off? Wasn't that what that was? Sup, all about? Yep, pretty much supposed to be. Now, if if this person took off running after you plot the machete, it's over. But you chased him, and then there's another article that says that he was stupidly like he he did that, and he knew he was dumb for doing that. They interviewed this dude after it was done. Oh, so he so he didn't get beat down or hospitalized that bad day. Oh no 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 no! It was bad. Cause he looked kind of broke they, up right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like a human pretzel. Mm-hmm. They they messed him up. Let me see. Uh, it was Fort Worth Star Telegram, oh, another ad blocker thingy um, that talked about it, and uh, it says that the man who was attacked by a mob and. Uh, Victory Park, uh, Victory Parker, late Saturday, blames himself for the ugly scene. Oh, I'm looking at the video right now. They, they got his shit. They stomped his ass. Like, they danced on him, dude. Yeah, let me play it in the other video here. Oh, here, let me see the, send me the, see the link. Well, I got this video up, the one that's on the screen, but. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it should be. You think yeah. we can play the so, sound, or I mean, even though we can't show it, but yeah, play the sound. Okay. That's like 15 people just go working them out. What? Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Damn. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's how they. Okay, so yeah, that picture. See, I thought that. Hold on. 
they merry go round on that. That's season. exactly how uh, <laughs> how he ended up after they got finished stomping him. Damn. It's not funny, but like, it's not. But damn, it's like if you see the picture, the way he's laid out. That was the end of the video. That's where it stopped. When the crowd dispersed, that's how he was. Damn. That's why I had to say something. That's why I was like, "Is he all right? Was he wasn't hospitalized then? Because because he looked broke up. Like that don't that don't look natural." But yeah, damn. He's toe up, dog. Um. Oh, I'm so unprofessional right now. I'm such an asshole. Such an asshole. Yeah. But he was toe up. That's some like, During, like, like anytime he pick up a butter knife or any kind of bladed weapon, that should like bring out some PTSD. Like, oh, uh, no, no, no. I don't want to pick that up. No, no, I'm good. No, don't do that. I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to pass out from laughter. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for laughing, but I mean, you have to... You have to bring levity into a lot. <laughs> you have to bring levity to a lot of these situations because otherwise, it's you know, it it's it's super depressing. I mean, you have to have to find some kind of humor in it because otherwise, I mean, everybody would just be depressed and, and be super like, sad thinking, all the time. I'm thinking about those cartoons, though. I'm thinking about those cartoons. You know, like when they just stomp a person out <laughs> and then they all leave, and it's just mm-hmm. like a puddle on the ground. Like it's just. They met this dude up, and then you in the video you can see how far he chased this yeah, guy. Yeah, it was it was at least uh, at least in the video it was at least two blocks. You you yeah. went from one intersection, so, pro- across it to another block, and, and they chased him around the corner. And yeah, yeah. So uh, he talks about during the night uh, that that time where basically he says it where he chased this person, got got into his emotions and he chased him. I can understand that's his business, that's his livelihood. Yeah. Anybody would get into their emotions. But this dude chased him so far that other people who saw this man didn't even know why he was chasing this guy. Yeah. So unfortunately, the criminal got away and the supposedly innocent man got beaten. But if you're running around with a machete, looks like that's what it looks like yeah now luckily he he survived yeah right luckily. he survived and that was like luckily because damn when you see the pictures like he's fucked up yeah like yeah it was at least 15 maybe 10 15 20 people on him it's it's a lot of people stomping his ass out and his ne- so his neck and his back is right there i mean it don't take much <laughs> i mean he took a lot but he got strong back <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm glad he. You know, he's alive, though. I mean, it's, yeah. It's, but see, it here's the thing. Worse. You got cops out there. That's one thing. You got cops everywhere right now, and you're chasing a man down the street with a machete. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Lucky you didn't get shot. Yeah. You lucky other people didn't shoot you. <laughs> you yeah exactly. You lucky that black people out there didn't shoot you. And this was and in what? Like so- um, you said this was in Texas, right? It's- that's Dallas, bro. Yes, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's down there by you. I mean, don't everybody got guns down there? Exactly. <laughs> and I didn't until somebody stole it. You know, like, everybody has guns down here. And that's saying something that those black men out there yeah. would rather stomp your ass out than shoot you. Yeah, and, a, and I seen a bunch of people in that video. They had stuff in their hands, so they could have used improvised weapons and blunt objects to really anything beat him down. Yep. But the fact that they only stomped him Yep. Didn't use his machete against him or anything. Yeah. Didn't kill him. Said, okay, cool. He's curled up enough. Yeah. Let's go. You know, maybe they, like, well, I mean, I mean, he looked bad. Maybe they thought they killed him. And that's why that guy at the end was like, oh my God. Oh my God. They, they probably <laughs> thought they killed him. But that's why they backed up. It was like, oh, that's the time to go. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> Missed him by that much. Now I'm just like, <laughs> got him by this much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe they thought they did, but at the same time, it, it could have been a lot worse for that man. Yeah. It could have been a, a hell of a lot worse. And that was the most dumbest thing I've seen. Yeah. And it's funny how the president brings up this. This specific scenario right here, this specific one, and doesn't talk about 
this man chasing people with machetes. Yeah. Like this is the most violent thing out there. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah, exactly. It, it's definitely not like, how about the one video where the cops try to run over the protesters in New York? The one we watched a couple days ago or like the, the one where that we just got finished doing a video on with the, where they dragged the two college kids out of the car. To me, that's, that's the probably more violent than this one. Like, yeah, this is a beat down, but you know, that involves your police fucking you up, <laughs> you know, because people are going to see or, that all the day, but, but police no. or recently the barbecue joint owner, yeah. they got shot and killed yep. by, by members about by, well, however many people that was a part of the shooting uh, of, um, the, the national guard. Mm-hmm. That, that that he's putting out there in every state that he's and, putting out and all exactly. of that stuff <clears throat> they want to talk about that so huh? you're, oh no oh no he's proud of that shit he's proud that's what the, if he can get more of that then he'd be happy <laughs> so yeah so uh hashtag bunker bitch y'all hashtag look it up hashtag pretzel man And that's the end. <laughs> uh, you gonna be all right? Too soon. Doing <laughs> <laughs> <want> that dog. <laughs> Oh, man. The motherfucker's the world's best yoga instructor now, dog. Namaste. <laughs> See, look. Yo, now, now all you're going to think about is him in front of his store with that machete. He'll be like, oh, you trying to rob me? <laughs> Not a pretzel, man. That's what he's going to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm an asshole. I, I uh. know all you try to do. All you trying to do is right now to get me to pass out, and I'm not gonna do. It. I'm not gonna do oh, it. Man. We talked about this the, a few days ago. Is that he talking about laughing so hard you pass out? I'm so close right now, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. He said, "Me, this video gonna be up forever." I ain't no. Mm -mm. Well, what if uh, one of the guys who stomped them? What if before they left, they sprinkled some salt on them? <laughs> <laughs> they just was like. <laughs> oh man, you know, I'm, man. I'm, I'm going to hell I already know this YouTube, damn but... anyway <laughs> yo man like comment what <laughs> you alright yeah, yeah well, I got... like comment subscribe for more <laughs> for more pretzel man videos <laughs> You good? I, I can't. I can't hear you. I can't hear you right now. You laughed so hard you broke your mic. No. No. <laughs> well, technical difficulties, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe for all this good stuff. And, um, Sorry for making light of the situation, but like I said before, you kind of have to sometimes. Otherwise, you know, you, get, you have to see some kind of humor and and everything. Otherwise, it'd be depressing. But anyways, if you, if you want to see more videos of us talking about more social stuff, more stuff about the riots, the looting, or anything that's going on now, right now, just let us know what you want us to talk about in the comments below. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.